Before I get into the topic of today's video, I would like to wish everybody a very happy new year. I hope 2008 was a good one for you, even though in a lot of respects it probably wasn't. But, a lot of good things happened. We got a new president who I... Now this is just my opinion, so please take it as such. But I feel that he will lead us on a much better path than we have been during the past eight years. I wish everybody the best of luck in 2009. Hope, it's, hope it goes well for all. Now with that out of the way, I'd like to get into today's topic. If you are blind, you need braille and speech. And if you are hard of hearing, you need, or deaf, you need sign language or hearing aids or both. But what happens when you're both? What happens when you're deaf and you're blind? Let me tell you, life becomes a hell of a lot more complicated. Two companies have managed to address this problem. Um, first of all, we'll, we'll talk about them in the order of the uh, product releases. Freedom Scientific launched FSTTY, which is a communication system um, to allow people who are deaf and blind to use the telephone. Um, it's basically... Okay, for those of you who don't know what a TTY is, um, it's kind of like a typewriter with an LED, an LED display in the front and two round speakers on the top. But LSNS, which is a which stands for Learning Sight and Sound, which is a dealer for products for people that are hard of hearing and uh, people who are uh, visually challenged. They have a PDA that, or a, or a, a um, TTY that kind of looks like this, actually. It's, it's very small, it's very compact. Now, obviously, it's not near this fancy. There's no color screen, there's no uh, stereo speakers, because, again, this is a communications device, but it's roughly the size of my Voyager when opened up. Um, so it's a pretty nice little system. But, um... FSTTY basically takes that TTY principle that I just talked about and adapts it to Freedom Scientific um, shoot. I'll check my voicemail in a moment, sorry about that um, adapts it to their pocket PC device known as the PacMate the PacMate is a uh, Try and think of a Windows Mobile uh, pocket PC-based phone in, a fo in the form of a keyboard and without the phone. That's pretty much what it is. But they've basically taken that and added software to make it compatible for those who are hard of hearing and blind. But what if you were sitting in front of me, as I'm sitting in front of the camera right now, and you were right across from me and you were deaf and you were blind, how do we hold a conversation? Well, Freedom Scientific has addressed this too. Face to face, they, again, have taken their PacMate Pocket PC and written software for it that allows you to communicate via Bluetooth to a PDA, a standard off-the-shelf pocket PC device, that has the ability to communicate to, um, it's, it's, think of it as instant messaging. Okay, it's just like instant messaging, except you're sitting right across from each other, communicating via Bluetooth between the devices, and the person who is deaf and blind can read on their braille display what you are saying, and you can read what they are saying on the PDA's screen. Pretty simple concept. The software um, for face-to-face, -face, I don't know what the story is on, F on FSTTY for price, so I'm not about to give it, but the last I heard... Um, for face to face it was around one to two thousand dollars okay so that's one solution another was just recently developed by humanware the developers of the braille note and if anybody wants to know about the braille note i suggest you take a look at jetfly 15's video um where he talks about his note taker he has a braille note and he can just and he can describe that for you but they've managed to come up with a um deaf blind communicator dbc that is very similar in the way that it works, um, except there are a few differences. 
One is the PDA that they supply with this communication solution, which incidentally runs about $4,000 instead of $1,000, and I'll explain why in a moment, um, has a built-in keyboard. They don't, necess they don't use a standard off-the-shelf PDA. They use a PDA, well, they use an off-the-shelf PDA, but it's actually a um, smartphone. So they use a smartphone that has a sliding thumb keyboard. Freedom Scientific has to supply their keyboard. Um, the reason why it's more expensive, though, despite the fact that the Braille Note has built-in Bluetooth versus the Packmate requiring a compact flash Bluetooth card, is you have to, um, you have to, um, write the software from scratch. Now, for Pocket PC, it's not so bad because the software development kit is available anywhere for anybody because of Microsoft and the way they run things. But when it comes to something as customized as the interface of the Braille Note, um, it's a little bit different than that. You have to write it from the ground up. You can't use any you can't use any um, C++ libraries. You have to literally write it from the ground up. So it's a lot more expensive to develop. So that explains that's the story on the price tag. But it's the exact same thing. You communicate via Bluetooth between your Braille Note and the PDA phone, and it's just like FSTT or um, excuse me, face to face from Freedom Scientific. The deafblind communicator and face to face are the same thing. That is, they allow um, communication between two individuals, and you could have somebody who is sighted and hard of hearing, or somebody who is blind but can hear somebody who is, excuse me, who is deafblind, everything is covered. And both of these systems, um, as I said, they allow you to communicate within 30 feet of the devices via Bluetooth, and it's just like instant messaging. But if we didn't have this type of software, I can guarantee you that, um, you know, things would still be difficult. This type of software really does help people who are deaf and blind. Um, I, I love it. I just wish the price tag wasn't so high, because um, Freedom Scientific actually bundles the software with the Packmate if you want to do that. But if you want to do that, you have to pay upwards of about, oh, depending on the configuration of the Packmate, you're looking at about six to eight thousand dollars. Or I'm no, I'm sorry, no, 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 no sorry. Um, three to five thousand. The point is, it's it's expensive. And I, I wish it wasn't, but that's something I, that's something everybody in this industry wishes. We all wish the stuff wasn't very, wasn't so expensive. And the reason is because money's hard to come by, um, because of our employment numbers. I won't get that, I won't get into that here. But the point is, the software does exist, and I think it's terrific. This, this software really does help people who are deaf blind, deaf and blind. Um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice evening, and Happy New Year!